When I start designing a stage, you know, I think first and foremost about what challenges do I want to have. I want there to be a little bit of athletic demand involved so people are running around, they're a little out of breath. Uh, it is a sobering match for a lot of people. It's open to literally anyone who wants to test their abilities with their CCW. Like all years prior, the EDC Championship is being held here at the Sig Sauer Academy. We are in Epping, New Hampshire, about 30 minutes away from our headquarters building in Newington. The EDC Championship, or the Everyday Carry Championship, is a competition that's open to the public, and it's kind of evolved over the last few years. It actually started out as a very simplified stand and shoot, all speed shoots, scenario based type of competition. So this year the match looks a little bit more like a conventional practical shooting match, where it's gonna be uh, more involved stages, a little bit more athletics kind of involved, a little bit more of a complex shooting challenge. It's come a long way and we're, uh, we're pretty happy with, with how the match looks this year. And in essence, you can shoot a competitive event with your truly everyday carry firearm. So when you first show up, we get everyone together and we give them the, the safety message and the welcome message and we let them know what squads they're on. Gonna go real quick over the division. So like our micro compact division, uh, we kind of built that around, as you guys are aware, this used to be the P365 EDC championship. Well, we opened it up to all manufacturers and different sizes of guns this year. When you're building these stages, your goal is to test as many different aspects of shooting as possible. Maybe it's a strong hand or a weak hand only kind of stage. Maybe it's a stage where you start with something in your hands or your gun is prepped like in a vault tech safe. The goal is to make your start positions and some portions of the stage based on a possible realistic scenario, but at the same time, make it fun. This match, the EDC championship has, has nailed it and has found the perfect balance between, you know, a fun match and also based on realistic concealed care. We have a, a great 10 stage match set up for you guys. Uh, it is a little different than previous years where it's gonna be a little bit more dynamic on the stages. You know, a lot of folks will come out to a range and maybe they shoot groups, maybe they just kind of bang away on a piece of paper. And uh, this will definitely be a more engaging and challenging way to challenge your, uh, your practical shooting skills than you're ever going to be able to do on a range even with your best efforts realistically. So we've sort of adapted the rule set uh, to be really optimized for the carry gun setup. It's, it's always a great idea to have as many gun and industry related sponsors as you can in a match because you know, it's, going to, it's going to build interest, it's going to give us a, a better prize table, it's going to be able to let people see that these are the companies that support the sport that we love. But when it comes to this match, it was an opportunity to partner with companies like vault Tech that we could actually use the product actually on a stage. The 270 range, which uh, some of you might know what that is, some of you might not, it's back over in that corner. That's gonna be stage one. This year, you know, we had the vault Tech stage, which was actually based on a, a scenario where you're, you're lying in bed. You know, we showed up and there's kind of a bed and there's a scenario sort of laid out where you jump out of bed, you know, use the vault Tech safe to kind of open up and get your gun and uh, go to work shooting some pretty far targets on that, that stage, it was pretty demanding. It was an awesome use of a, of a great prop. And also it's, it's relative, I mean, this is a CCW match and that was a perfect example of using the product to enhance the stage and make it more realistic. Obviously we wanna grow the EDC championship, but I think the real goal is we wanna expand it. We wanna actually have other clubs host an EDC type championship. I mean, I envision a future where just like USPSA has three or four handgun nationals a year. Maybe there's a EDC nationals or an EDC series where there's lots of major matches all over the place where it's possible for people to go try their carry gear in a, in a really interesting way at a proper match. Letting people realize that you know, this is a growing thing that you can actually legitimately come out and shoot your carry gear and still be competitive, that's the step towards the right direction is getting more people out there and doing it.